Hi and welcome to the last in a series about capacitors in DC circuits. This one deals with um, three capacitors but we have one in series with two that are in parallel. So it's a series parallel circuit. Uh, same procedure that we've used for all the others. We're going to find that CT first, QT, V1, V2 and the energy stored. So we have two capacitors in parallel here. And we know that when capacitors are in parallel, we add their capacitances. So 2 and 4 obviously make 6. And then we have these two which in parallel are in series with an 8 microfarad capacitor. So using product over sum, we're going to have 6 times 8 over 6 plus 8. And that will give us 48 over 14. which equals 3.42 microfarads. And in real money, micro, as you know, is a millionth now. So a millionth is 10 to the minus 6. It's decimal point 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 3, 4, 2 farads. Charge, we know from previous videos, but charge is equal to Q is equal to C times V. And we've got a, a voltage of 12 volts here. So therefore, 12 times... Four point one oh five times ten to the minus five coulombs. And in real money, minus five decimal point one two. To find the voltage V one, we need to rearrange Q is equal to C times V. So V is equal to Q over C. You may remember from a series circuit that the total charge in the circuit is shared across equally across all the capacitors in that circuit. Therefore, the 8 microfarad capacitor is going to have 41 microcoulombs charge. And these two capacitors in parallel will also have a charge shared between them of 41 microcoulombs. We can use this fact to find voltages V1 and V2. And we'll start with V1. We know the charge for both these capacitors is 41 microcoulombs. And we know the total capacitance for both of these is 6 microfarads. So using V is equal to Q divided by C, we have a voltage V1 of 6.84 volts. And we do exactly the same for V2. So we take, this time it's divided by 8, microfarads that is, of course. And here we have a voltage of 5.13 volts. If we add both voltages together, We come very close, in this case 11.97 volts, to the supply voltage. And that's your check to make sure you've got it right in exactly the same way as it was before. Um, we could, now that we know the, the volt drop across these capacitors, we could work out the charge for this capacitor and this capacitor simply by once again rearranging. Q is equal to C times V. So we take each capacitance in turn and multiply it by the applied voltage across, which is obviously V1, 6.84. And the energy, as you'll recall, half C, CT, times the voltage squared. So the total capacitance 
is 3.42 microfarads so roughly half that is going to be about 1.7 microfarads and multiply that by the applied voltage squared which is 144 And this circuit has 244 microjoules of energy stored. That's it. That's um, If you've done the series one and you've done the parallel one, you should really look at those first before you attempt this. And you'll see that these are, are no more difficult than series and parallel. We just apply the same rules over and over again.